Ooh. And then, finally, it's finally. over. <laughs> 钟表与奇迹表展，不论是在日内瓦还是在上海，江山丹顿呢，都是这个台柱子。我们今天啊，借这些展品解释一下，为什么那个今天表达不出来了。OK， 原计划我们是要给你看看那个海水江崖那几款表的上手效果的，但是刚刚得知啊，这些表不能试戴了，到底为什么呢？这样吧，咱们一起发现一下为什么不能试戴了。咱们先说一下这个生肖表里的这个蛇年腕表吧。其实呢，江丹顿的中国生肖系列呢，已经做了一轮了。为了致敬跟中国的深厚情缘啊，江丹顿是又重新推出了另外一圈，就是以这个蛇表开始的。甭问啊，喜欢的人肯定很多，而且限量二十五枚，可自带，可送礼，几乎可以说是闭着眼抢就行了。你们中有属蛇的吗？中国传统文化中，蛇可是一种神秘的动物啊，它象征着智慧、新生和敏捷。蛇呢，还寓意这个吉祥富足啊。这两款限量表的表盘上，彰显了十九世纪以来中国与瑞士文化之间的一种渊源啊。另外，给你提个问题啊，这两款蛇呢，它的细节其实是有差异的，你能看出来吗？提示一下啊，在信子这儿，这两款限量版。它主要是在表盘上凝结了雕刻大师和珐琅彩绘大师的精妙技艺，但是这里这本珐琅的话，其实还有讲究的。我们在这采访中呢，会给你更深的那个揭示一下。表盘图案由两片精致镶铁组成，先由手工大师在粉红金或者白金材质上雕刻出灵蛇的鳞纹和岩石的斑驳纹路。表盘的厚度限制应该说是比基楼还要难啊，对力度和手感要求都很高的。整个工序历时三天，然后大师就开始用微绘和氧化着色，进一步凸显出这个图案纹理和 patina。在粉红金表，眼镜蛇是赭色调呈现，铂金款呢是沉稳的玄墨灰色调。表盘上的四个视窗的颜色与精美的珐琅彩绘图案是和谐呼应。What does m e t i e d a r collection mean to v a c h e r o n Constantin? I think m e t i e d a r or decorative crafts in English. Yeah. So I think it's something which is highly important uh, for Vachon Constantin. If we uh, turn our eyes back to the, the early uh, days of the Maison in, in the 18th century, we see that Vachon Constantin had always uh, reached the highest standards in, in terms of quality. Yeah. By quality, I mean uh, from the technical angle, for example. So uh, handmade finishing and also complications. We started to do complications uh, at the end of the 18th century. So you know we have this mastery of uh, technicality of watchmaking uh, art from the technical angle. However, what is really interesting, and that's why your question is so interesting. On one side we have this technical uh, expertise, and on the other side we see since the beginning the presence of uh, decorative crafts or material. And so we have. A kind of duality in the expertise of Vachon Constantin, which consists of、uh, mastering、uh, watchmaking complications and also decorative crafts. So these、uh, decorative crafts, as a matter of fact, we have、uh, what we consider to have、uh, four historical crafts:、uh, enameling, engraving, guillotage, and gem setting. And we are making sure that these crafts、uh, remain alive in the company in our products. And、uh, even if we stick to the tradition concerning the metida, by、uh, using the same Uh, techniques that were already used in the 18th century, we absolutely、uh, innovate and create very contemporary timepieces while using these traditional crafts. So this is、uh, why I think the Metzeda watches of today are so relevant in the 21st century. 跟常见的珐琅表不同啊，江人丹顿的这个珐琅彩绘大师呢，结合两种的微妙技艺，一个是大明火珐琅，他画出了一种渐变色的这种背景图案，然后他运用的是日内瓦微绘。画出了繁茂的植物纹样，并且在表面呢涂一层透明的釉层。这种技法是内瓦流派独有的，所以呢，此法郎非彼法郎哦。不论是表现古典绘画，还是中国题材，表盘的布局一直是个挑战。而这两款表呢，你也看出来了啊，它的表盘最大限度的用来表现画作，这就得益于这个品牌自制的二四六零祭祀机芯。机芯采用独特的显示设计啊，没有指针，而是通过表盘外缘的四个视窗显示小时、分钟、星期和日期。前两个为滑动式显示，后两个是跳字显示。Your caliber 2460 G4 is found on many of your Mitchell Dark collection. This time it comes with the legend of Chinese zodiac, the year of snake. 
Would you say inventing such a mechanism is to provide more stage for art and culture? Very much, very much. That was really the purpose of the, of the creation of the 2460 G4. We were looking, if we come back to the year 2000s, we celebrated our 250th anniversary in 2005, and we wanted to also to celebrate this anniversary with a métier d'art uh, collection. So we asked ourselves, so how can we express our crafts in three dimensions. So when you have hands in the middle of the watch face, for example, this is a big, big limitation for the, for the artistic expression. So that's why we thought about creating a movement with complications, namely uh, hours, minutes, day and date, which functions would be visible through window. And so uh, that display gave us the possibility to express, or for our artisans to express themselves in three dimensions. And uh, so this is the perfect, I would say, uh, caliber for uh, Metadar watches because we can really create watches which are uh, three dimensionals from the dial point of view. And I think the, um, the brand new uh, Metadar um, tribute to the Chinese Zodiac with the Year of the Snake is a perfect example of this uh, three dimensional uh, representation of the animal. 56 is no doubt an elegant retro contemporary combination. I am uh, particularly amazed at the details, such as the lug design. It smartly evokes a Maltese cross. Does this design make the processing of the watch case more complicated than a conventional case design? Yes, certainly. So, um, uh, coming back to the, to the 56, so this is, uh, like you are mentioning, a retro contemporary design yeah. that we launched in 2018 and uh, which, uh, which is inspired by a timepiece from obviously 1956. However, we have uh, some differences. So uh, we didn't want to do a re-edition of this timepiece, but rather create a new collection. And also we have, uh, I would say, a much more sophisticated uh, design and construction compared with the watch from the 50s. So uh, for sure, uh, this kind of construction in which we are integrating uh, the Maltese cross, which is the emblem of uh, Vacheron Constantin in the lugs, and some other details, this requires more uh, time and care to the makers to, to do it. But um, I think since, um, let's say, uh, maybe 15 years or 20 years, there has been a big evolution in the case making for, for fine watches, in the sense that uh, 3D conception, 3D design, 3D tools as well, they gave us the possibility to create much more complex case designs. So uh, the, this also uh, explains uh, the sophistication uh, which is inside the 56 design. 再说说我们原本要跟大家分享是在效果的几款表对于那些想收藏头部中的作品尤其是那些中国题材的收藏家来说对目前市场的产品总是觉得缺点什么对不对但是题材总嫌同质化甚至有点肤浅我们中国的文化在你们设计书心目中就是那样关于这个海水江牙这四块表我们前一个视频讲的比较全建议你去看看概括来说呢就是一瑞士高级制表品牌的中国题材作品从
a flux coated miniature opaque enamel for the flora and a clear coating of enamel applied on the enamel surface, the so-called fengdang. Can you share with us a bit more on this craftsmanship and what they signify in your metadata savoir affair? If we speak about artistic crafts and Vachon Constantin, so we spoke before about these four historical crafts, enameling, engraving, guillotage and gem setting. I think for many experts, out of these four crafts, enameling is considered by many as the most difficult. And uh, there are many uh, different uh, techniques of enameling, namely uh, champ levé, cloisonné. However, I think uh, miniature uh, painting uh, enamel is probably the, the most difficult to achieve. And um, obviously, depending on the subject, depending on the final rendering that we want, our artisans, they are using different kind of enamel. So like translucent enamel, semi-opaque, opaque enamels. It depends really on the, on, on the subjects. But there is one thing which is also important, and you have mentioned it. Let's say that according to experts, the ultimate uh, expression of uh, miniature painting enamel is known as uh, Emo de Genève, Geneva enamel. Emo de Genève, yeah. So the speciality of uh, Geneva enamel, once the, um, I would say the dial is, is done with all the colors, with all the firings, the Geneva enamel technique uh, consists of applying a layer of transparent enamel, which is the fondo, as you mentioned. So congratulations for, for your knowledge yes, about yeah. it. <laughs> and so this layer is here to, uh, to give an additional uh, glow, if I may say, on the whole dial, and also uh, offers a three-dimensional uh, perspective to the dial. So this is the technique that we have been using for the new Matieda uh, tribute to the zodiac, to the yeah. Chinese zodiac. So this is very iconic and very unique. Yes, of uh, Geneva. And it was basically created in Geneva, became famous, and it is now considered as the ultimate uh, level of uh, miniature painting in the world. Yue Yao Heshan, Da Ming Huo Fa Lan 代表的朝廷江牙与江牙同意反正中标市场从来没有这么一个重量级的产品出现过。与其说是用于收藏，不如说是用于馈赠。想象一下，这款表未来的主人啊，你说这些展品能拿出来随便试戴吗？What made the Russian Constantin's Montesinois so special that you received orders from Chinese dignitaries and even, according to some, from the emperor himself? So I think your, your question uh, drives us back to uh, 1845. In our archives, we have documents uh, testimonying that we have been exporting our watches to, uh, to China. Even have a letter in which it's indicated that we are going to ship 33 so-called uh, Chinese watches or montre chinoise, meaning in two examples, uh, to China, I would say with ornaments which pleased to the Chinese uh, clients. So it was uh, in the middle of the 19th century. And obviously, uh, Vacheron Constantin had already a great reputation as a watchmaker. Uh, we were already a prestige brand. Uh, it makes sense, obviously, that such uh, delicate watches um, were acquired by dignitaries of the Chinese, Chinese uh, Empire. And then your question about the emperor. It has been mentioned years ago about the fact that the emperor himself has been ordering uh, our watches. We are still investigating if we can have a proof of this uh, affirmation, but so far we haven't found a direct trace of this. But we, in the future we might discover a document which will prove this. But potentially it might be uh, very much possible. Thank you.
下期见。